Hello, and my name is Derek Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make numerical questions inside Moodle. So as you can see, I'm already logged into Moodle. And off to the right-hand side, if you're using the default theme of Moodle, you will see the question bank here underneath the inside the administrator box. So please click here. And it'll take you to this page. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new question. These other questions here were made in prior videos at, if you've been keeping track of this series. So I click create a new question. And I have all these different choices here, but today we're going to focus specifically on numerical questions. So this allows you to create a word problem and to have the students provide a numerical response to it. So we click add. And I just want to give you a brief overview of the different features here. Of course, we have to put a name and we have to put in the actual question. We're going to do that in a second. Uh, the general feedback is always given whether the response is right or wrong. And then you have the answers here. So first you have the correct answer, the, you know, the answer you're willing to accept. And then you have an error range. So you put it in a certain value and the student has to be within that range in order to receive credit. You can also put in if there's another answer or if there's more than one answer to the problem, they can have um, several responses here. It gets very complicated. Generally, I recommend only you know one answer per problem, but everybody has their own way of how they want to do assessment. And then you can also deal with units. For example, if you know pounds or kilograms or whatever, if units are important to you, you can require it here. And you can also put in a, a penalty if they don't put the unit. Also, uh, for uh, a multiplier. So for example, Maybe the student puts the answer in centimeters and you want kilograms or vice versa. You can put it away for, for Moodle to convert it for you. And then also, of course, they have the multiple try penalty and, and whatnot. So why don't we go up now to the top and make our actual question. So we're going to call it the Apple question. Excuse me. Apple question. So here's my question. Tom is, has five apples and his friend um, Bob has two. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. If Thomas gives Bob three apples, how many does, how many apples does Bob have now? Very simple problem. Bob starts with two apples. Thomas gives him three more. How many apples does he have all together? Well, you know, I'm sure we're all good at math. The answer is, of course, five. Now, for the error, in the real world, I would not put an error, but I just want to demonstrate how this works. And so I'm going to, I'm going to put an error of 0.3. This means that the answer can be between 4.7 and 5.3. Somewhere between there is I, it will be accepted as a correct answer. And of course, the graders work 100% because this is the only answer. And so that's how it works. The, the other ones I will leave blank. There's only one potential answer for my question. If I had several answers, I would fill these in too. Or for example, if I wanted to know like how many apples does Bob have now and also how many apples does uh, Thomas have now, then I would have two potential answers for this because Bob has five now. But since Thomas gave away three, Thomas now has two. That would be one way to turn this into a two answer question. However, that's very complicated. And in my own personal experience as a student and as a teacher, normally one answer per problem. So since we're done with this, we now can click Save Changes. And we can see that our new question is at the bottom. We click on the magnifying glass to look at it. And there we have it. And we can put in our answer if we so desire. So in this video, we learned how to make numerical questions, which is a, a way for students to, to provide you know, a response to probably a word problem of some matter or, or the other. And so uh, we hope that this is useful for you. And we thank you for watching. Take care.